News Force Paul Wagner is live for us at tonight's vigil. Paul, what's the mood out there right now? Well, Corey, uh, a lot of anger and sadness amongst the uh, people that are down here, here outside the White House. Uh, we spent a couple of hours here talking to people and uh, looking at some of the signs that they had. Let me show you some pictures that we shot earlier today. Uh, people here are just very angry with uh, the way uh, this has been handled by uh, countries that are coming to support Ukraine. Uh, I heard a number of speakers complaining that these um, uh, sanctions didn't come quick enough, that they want a no-fly zone, which of course the Biden administration says will not happen. Uh, they're asking for uh, more arms. Uh, they're asking for medicine and help and donations to be sent uh, to the Ukrainian people. Uh, we heard from Oleksandra Ustinova. She's a member of the Ukrainian parliament. She's pregnant. She was in tears most of the time as she was speaking and also complaining uh, that the sanctions didn't come quick enough and also calling for a no-fly zone. I also met uh, Svetlana Koch and her daughters Sofia and Julia. Uh, they're from the town of Kherson in uh, south Ukraine. It's a port on the Black Sea. And uh, I first want you to listen to what Svetlana had to say. She was recently in Ukraine uh, in February. She says her family is still there, including her mother. Uh, take a listen to her and then hear from her daughters. All my life I was lived there, and it's in my blood. So it, 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 nobody asked Russian military to come and save, because we were safe. We were freedom. We are freedom. And we speak aloud what we want, and we tell our wishes, and everything was good. It feels good that there are people that are supporting the country and like helping with sending donations but it's also kind of sad because of all the deaths and it's war. I'm I'm really glad that uh, a lot of people support uh, Ukraine and uh, donate uh, food, medicine and c warm clothes for all the children and the soldiers that fight uh, the Russia. Svetlana told me that she speaks Russian, her father speaks Russian. She's just uh, infuriated that this has happened to her country. The rally is still going on at this point. Actually, they called it a vigil, but uh, mostly it's just speakers now, a lot of people with the Ukrainian flags that are down here outside the White House. My estimate is just a couple of hundred people uh, here now. Corey? Paul Wagner, live for us near Lafayette Square. You can just hear the desperation in Svetlana's voice. Paul, thank you for bringing us that.